guys so today I decided I'm going to start a new series on my channel I've noticed that a lot of youtubers in the beauty community have been doing August favorites and August dislikes and things like that so I've decided to call my series my loves and breakup of the month and so I'm gonna pretty much do that so let's get started Okay, so I don't know why I'm waving. I'm being such a dork. Sorry. Anyways, let's get into this video. So I'm going to start with my loves, the products of August that I've just fallen in love with throughout the month and that I'm super excited to share with you. Um, I have this little black tray thing that I just have all my products in. So I'm going to go through them. The first product I have is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Gel Acne Treatment. Um... See if I can get the focus. Uh, I heard about this from Jam Beauty 89's channel. Um, I love her. She's probably one of my favorite YouTubers on here. But I heard about this. She had the upped, like upgraded one, the newer one. It's in black packaging. It's from their studio looks or whatever. Because I know like everything's different. They have like the studio, the generic elf. I don't know how it's labeled, but I think it's called studio. And I fell in love with this. This was only like $2 and it definitely dries out my pimples. Um, I get a lot of breakouts down here on my chin. So I'm definitely using this when I see like a new fresh one and after I clean my face, I'll definitely use this to help dry it out and just get rid of it. It does work wonders. My husband actually uses it with me. Um, I make him use like a Q-tip, but like when he gets certain pimples and they disappear overnight. So we really both love this product and I'm just in love with it. I carry it in my bag and it goes everywhere with me. Um, my next love, and I'm so sad because I really need to throw it away. It's been over the expiration date. I've been just, and that's probably the grossest thing you can hear that I'm still using it. But it still works. I mean, it's still really good, but I love it. I got it for my birthday in November last year, and it's probably my favorite. And I haven't even said what it is, but it's the CK1 Mascara um, in black. 800 is the number, and it's in black. And I just love it. I love the formula. I love how it makes my eyelashes look. I love the wand because you can change it for lengthening or for, like, fullness. I don't know which one's which honestly I just depending on my mood I just use which one I want and it's cool because the top just swivels like this I believe I've shown this in a video before of like my Ulta hauls or something my birthday haul or whatever um, I'll link that video down below but I just love it and I just love the formula and I have to go buy a new one I've just been I just I'm not done with it, so I just don't want to throw it away and buy a new one. I want to use it up. I actually got this for free from Ulta for my birthday with the Ulta birthday coupon. If you're a Ulta member or whatever, you have like the little purple card, you get a birthday coupon and you can go in and get whatever their free product of the month is for your birthdays. But I love it. I think what really draws me to it is really the wand. Like, I'm mesmerized by this wand. It's magical. Um, anyways... The next thing that's on my loves is I got this in last month's Ipsy bag and I'm, I love it. I like pretty much anything to do with my hair products and I love argan oil. I love how it makes my hair feel. And so Ipsy gave me this Nourishing Argan Oil of Morocco by Marc Anthony. And I'm, I love it. I love the smell. I love the way it makes my hair look. And I mean, it's a really good size for a sample or a deluxe sample. I've used it every day since I've gotten it and I mean there's still a ton here. If you hear that, there's still a ton left in here and so I definitely love it. I use all different argan oils that I find and I just fall in love with each one of them. But I'm really actually excited that I got to try Mark Anthony's. My other thing is is when I went to Ulta and I talked about in my demo of my Becca foundation I'm gonna keep doing this um, about like the people who work there and how they talked about things and foundation but they talked me into the Becca they also talked me into the juice beauty products for my facial skincare I guess routine and I've fallen in love with this green apple peel for the sensitive skin and this come this is the size that you get in like a little when you get the pre pack like the starter pack to trial the products for that hydration system or for the system 
uh, but it normally comes in like a little jar as you replace it of course but I love it I love the way it smells I love the way it feels I love how it peels all my dead skin off and then leaves me feeling like baby soft on my cheeks I just love it um, but yeah, I definitely love this and would recommend this to everybody, especially if you have sensitive skin. I didn't break out to it. It didn't really irritate my skin. So definitely a keeper in the peels. And then my last thing, I believe I got this in July's makeup bag. Or maybe, maybe it was August. But July's makeup bag most likely is what it's from. It's the Nika K New York eyeshadow quad. And I'm going to open it so you can see the colors. And I just love it. I love how creamy it feels, how pigmented the colors are. See if you can get the good lighting. My lighting kind of sucks, so I apologize. But I'll do a different color because the golds are hard to see. But I just love how creamy, creamy and pigmented these eyeshadows are. I do my makeup looks mostly with this palette or quad because it's not even really a palette. Um, every few days, like this is the palette or quad I go to for my makeup looks. Um, and that's pretty much all my loves for the month. Like, I don't use a lot of different products and I don't stray away when I try new things and I don't automatically say, oh my god, I love this product right away. But I never really say, like, my Nika K my CK mascara and my Moroccan oil the minute I use them I was like oh my god I love these um so I definitely wouldn't break up with any of these anytime soon unless something comes along that's even better but right now these are my loves for the month so for my breakups I thought I'd like them I really thought it'd be like something cool and fun and just really good products I've heard things about but Again, they kind of sucked, and they are my breakups for the month. So the first one is is the Scandalize Retro Glam, and when I first opened this, I really liked the way the little eye roller, I don't know, I can't talk and think of words right now, What, how I really like it. Um, I didn't like it because it flakes. I used it a few times, and I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried it. But all day long, I get like black little flakes down on my face, in my eye. So I'm constantly like playing with my eye because I'm like, there's something in it. I don't feel like it really gave me like a big, like glamorous eye look. And I just really don't like it. I've also gotten in an influencer box the Rimmel London by Kate, hers that came out not too long ago. And it kind of did the same thing, like as cool as the little wand is and how like it made my eyes, eyelashes actually look very voluptuous and like very big. But it flaked all day. It went down my face, in my eyes, like it was just no fun. So I'm really kind of sad because I've heard a lot of good things about them. But for me, they just feel like they flaked and they weren't good unless every time I get a product, it's bad and it's just automatically flaking on me. But sad, like I wasted money on this and I wouldn't recommend this to anybody it's super super gross <laughs> um my next one is a juice beauty product it came in that hydration system but for me it's a breakup because i feel like even though it was cleaning my skin and it was help hydrating my skin it overhydrated to where my face was getting greasy and i was breaking out a little more because i tried switching out my face wash only and finishing out with the rest of the system and i've noticed like with the moisturizer and the um, face wash which this one is the cleansing milk face wash that came in it with using this in the moisturizer it was just too much for my skin type but using I use um what is it it's the carrot one I normally use the cucumber one it's organic oh, what is it oh, I'm gonna have to go get it and I'll link I'll link that down below or I'll add it into the screen but the one that I use like I use one a different brand and it doesn't dry my skin up, it doesn't over moisturize, it's just like a really good clean feel. So I still use the moisturizer and like the rest of the system and it's working really well. So it's definitely good that this system is natural and you can kind of switch it up and use other natural and organic face wash systems so it's not too much. If it wasn't for my skin getting oily, I would definitely recommend this for people but if you have dry sensitive skin like me, 
the system itself, the face wash with the moisturizer, I think is just a little too much together for our skin. Um, the next breakup, and I broke up with this. Wow. Um, so yeah, I broke up with this after I first got it. Sorry, my camera stopped in the middle of this conversation. Um, is the J-Cat Wonder Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Mad Splatter. And I actually got this with my Ipsy Points. And when I first used it, I broke up with I broke, I broke up. I broke up with it because I didn't like how I wore it. And so I was trying it for this month because I'm getting ready to do a fall makeup look tutorial, whatever lookbook. I haven't decided what that video is going to be. And I wanted to use this color because I think it's a really nice fall color. And I believe I got it in the fall. But I've been trying it again and I just don't like it. It runs like even when I put like my lip liner on first and I try to get like stuff on my lips so that it like connects, I don't know, like stays on, like it doesn't move. I get it all in my teeth. It's just too wet. Maybe I just don't know how to use it right. I don't know. If you want to give me a tutorial on how to really use this, that'd be great. Just link that down below for me. But I just don't like it. I've tried it with um, lip liner. I've tried using a lip brush to put it on. I've tried different ways, my fingers, everything, and I just I can't stand it. It's a beautiful color. I just, I have to break up with it because it doesn't do what I want it to do. Um, and then I want to say the last thing for the month that I absolutely dislike is this Jarrell Parker Mm, roll on perfume I want to say I got it in my July bag as well and it's called Classico I've tried it a few times I've been trying to open my broaden my horizons open my mind to new things like the Mr. Pookie nail polish these I'd normally only put pink on my nails so I've been trying to like bright broaden my horizons about things and I just can't get on board with it I can't stand the smell it's, it smells too <laughs> I can't even, I can't even tell you. I just, I like, again, sorry, my camera keeps cutting out on me, but I like flowery smells. So overall, I mean, I think my loves and my breakups are pretty good and are really about me this month. Like they really show what my personality is. But again, this is gonna be a new series. I'm gonna get better at doing them, I promise. Um, but just definitely tell me down below what you thought about this. If you wanna get this makeup look, also comment down below and let me know if you like it and I will do a tutorial. Just thumbs up this video, please share it, like it, subscribe to my channel, and remember to always live your life with peace and love. Thanks.